What's happening, niggas? Let's talk about episode 42. Episode 42 basically starts with Barry um, training and getting ready for um, the upcoming season, possibly. Maybe. How you feeling, son? Uh, good, coach. Why? Wow, what's up? I just want to let you know we bringing in some real talent, baby. In the Barry Tales universe, they're probably in April right now. April, May, somewhere in there. But let's stop there real quick because we're talking about time at this point. And we got to talk about the elephant in the room. Barry having a kid. What? When it comes to time travel in a lot of movies, if you've ever seen any, um, it always comes down to um, anything that you do can end up possibly changing something in the future. Well, wherever you were in your future, which would just basically create an alternate timeline. Like, so, for instance, let's talk about Back to the Future. Have you ever seen that movie? Back to the Future um, did it pretty well. It's an old ass movie, but it did it pretty well when um, they went back in time they changed something when they came back his whole like life was like he didn't even live in the same place that place was like run down and it was like trash and stuff and so just that little thing that they changed changed his reality which basically took it onto another path whoa what the f wow now it may seem like it was a long time ago which it was you know when the episode actually came out but they're really close together. Like, they're literally like um, four episodes apart. And that's basically the Time Saga, which was um, episode 34 to 36? No, 37? I think 36 to 37, somewhere in there. Or maybe the 38. No, 34 to 38. Ah! Not gonna keep doing that. <laughs> you know what it was, when it was. Lao being stuck back for three months, I believe is what he said, um, is basically a telltale of like many things that could have happened. Because um, for three months, like he he obviously probably interacted with someone. That's That remains to be seen what, but you know, you gotta stay tuned to see. Barry had no idea that the timeline was changing or where he was at was changing because he wasn't, he didn't go back in time. It's kind of like when you watched um, actual movie butterfly effect if you ever seen that movie it was exactly like that that was crazy every single time he had to go back and change something something worse happened and sometimes oh my god it was just snowball into the fact where he just said you know he's just not even gonna mess with the girl you know that that movie was crazy that movie was crazy i love that movie i don't know how many times i've seen that but that movie was crazy because he just knew like the outcome of it all is just this is gonna be bad so uh, i'm not trying to like um, you know, some people may have thought that, uh, cause some people was trying to like fact check me on stuff and I was like, nah, you know, this is, this is time travel. So like, it's pretty easy to like, you know, for anything to happen, you know, um, I'm again, I'm not going to say what, but, uh, this has been a plan in the making for like quite a bit. Um, as far as I, I will say this though. As, um, as far as it being um, Pandora was just basically like I just changed that and when was that October I changed it in October I think um, it was actually gonna be Nurse Woods uh, but it didn't make sense because my daughter wanted to be a red panda and I just figured you know a red panda actually isn't a panda that's what they say um, so I was just like, uh, this could be a creation, you know, of two animals breeding. So Pandora being a panda and then um, Barry being a Kodiak bear, he's like, you know, a reddish brownish color. And you just mix those together. I just figured, hey, maybe it make red. <laughs> it, it wouldn't, but you know, um, yeah. Hey, you got games in your phone? Not now, little girl. Backtracking a little bit. Um, the other characters because uh, it's been a long time so I just want to make sure people didn't feel like it was um, all over the place and like who you saw and when you saw it um, so basically uh, the second scene was narc and this is basically uh, this is just us going back to that plot line of them trying to uh, get information on <laughs> on loud and paul uh because they they technically got their business illegally 
and um, they're selling, you know, you, you know, the, the government don't really want people to be able to sell marijuana. They want to be able to sell it. They want to be able to sell it and, you know, mass produce, because it's, it's a big market, right? Big market. Drugs is a big market, like alcohol, like they tax the hell out of that. So they want to, hey, look, let's let's sell this we can get money over it. we can tax this that's basically what it is but they don't really want um people selling it like but they have to say oh yeah you can sell it because so they can you know what i mean so um since they did get it illegally they are trying to still trying to pursue them um what happens from that can't can't let you know uh-huh. so the third scene is ignore which is basically going back to the story of Bernicia who you know, she was a bear. She's a bear tuber who um, broke up with her boyfriend online, <laughs> live in front of everybody. Um, and that was like two episodes ago. So you know, technically, we had to go back to that and see how that was going. But you know, she's. You can see in the in the video, she's you know getting some money now from her, her bear tube. But uh, Specs comes along, and Specs is ignoring her. Um, which you know, <laughs> it's pretty specs of him, but uh, I just I felt it funny. So yeah, just wanted to step back over there to talk about that for a bit. But as you can also see, Banisha has some new friends, um, which I thought did very well, and uh, I hope to see both of them in the future. And I'm gonna be up there with my yams. Out. <laughs> Fourth scene was news, which basically I just had Barry on the couch just chilling most of the episode. After he worked out, like that's basically how I be feeling sometimes. I be just be on the couch. I be uh or maybe not on the couch, might be in the bed watching <laughs> watching videos or whatever the case may be. But um basically just um I knew I wanted to bring back the the Maple twins. So I had to figure out a way and you know, they got them good, you know what I mean, skills. <laughs> I can't say it because I might get demonetized, but... Honey and Ginger Maple are set to be released after what the mail guards state, and I quote, Very, very good behavior, yes lord, end quote. And then, oh man, everything else that was newsworthy in that was basically just, uh... It was just old at that point, you know what I mean? Because I had wrote this, like, way back in April. Yeah. And it was supposed to come out in like June, but my grandmother died in May, and I've been depressed ever since. So, uh, but I, I mean, it, we we made it through. We we got we got the episode out, so that means a lot. Let's stop talking, bro. I am. And the fifth scene was basically the uh, pledges. I wanted to show them, but you definitely need to see them again because they would be in uh, the next couple ones. The the one guy he he hadn't been in since like I think episode sixteen. I want to say. And uh, so he's still a pledge. If you watched, looked at his shirt, he's still a <laughs> he's still a pledge because I don't remember him getting. So yeah, but he said he wanted to he wanted to come back too. So I um I put him in. And then you know of course you know my daughter comes up and basically stole the show to me. I just felt like I was really proud of her. Like most of these lines she did in one take. I think one the broke boys one. She was a little embarrassed to do it. What's that smell in here? What is that, bro? What? I can't talk to broke boys. I can't talk to broke boys. Speaking of my daughter, Tyler, come here. Uh oh, it looks like someone's gonna get a whooping. Here, here's my here's my daughter. She um she did pretty she did pretty good. What, what how you think you did in Barry Tales? <laughs> she she looking at herself on the side. So um. Yeah, I have started writing on the next episode. Um, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I, it didn't didn't take me a year to make it, so we'll see um, how many months it takes. I'm trying to do it like every other month, um, so we'll see. Uh, I, I get really tired as of late. I'm not. I'm not. How old was I when it started? It was like ten years ago, right? So I was like 29. Yeah. And I didn't have a kid then, so. Uh, it's a lot easier to, you know, have time to do stuff. But yeah, I get, I get tired. So we'll see. Um, other than that, man, um, I appreciate everybody who watched. Um, I hope this summed up a little bit of things like the butterfly effect. One small thing can change. Well, they call it the chaos theory. So, anyway, uh, y'all be safe out here. 
Uh, I love y'all makers. Oh my God! Look, this can't I'll be figure this out. Where's this my room at? Oh Lord, please, Lord, come down here and save me.